Robert Garwood has been facing this legal ordeal ever since he came home from Vietnam in March of 1979. Almost two years of waiting for some resolution on the government's charges against him. Today in court, attorneys for both sides will present their closing arguments. Only two charges remain, striking a fellow prisoner of war and collaboration with the enemy, which is tantamount to treason. Last week, the judge dismissed three of the charges, including desertion. During the trial, government witnesses, including nine former POWs, testified that Garwood, while in POW camps, wore the enemy uniform, stood guard over American soldiers, and carried an enemy rifle. No one could ever say whether that rifle was loaded. The defense is basing its case on an insanity plea, and several psychiatrists told the jury that Garwood was driven insane by the torture and deprivation he endured at the hands of the Viet Cong. And they said his background and psychological makeup made him more susceptible to mental illness than other prisoners. It is now up to a five-man military jury to decide Robert Garwood's fate. If convicted, he could face life imprisonment. June Massell, ABC News, Camp Lejeune, North Carolina.